So my name is uh, Margreet Zwarteveen. I'm working as a professor of water governance at an institute called IHE Delft, Institute for Water Education, which has an affiliation with UNESCO. And I'm also associated with the University of Amsterdam. Here in Montpellier, I'm affiliated with an interdisciplinary unit called UMR Geo, which brings together people from different institutes and universities both natural scientists and social scientists, all working on water. So I'm very happy to, to be with that group of people. My fellowship is a, is a FIAS fellowship, and I will be here for 10 months. So what is interesting is that also the UMRGO unit has a link with the new UNESCO Center in Montpellier on water. My research project takes as its basic proposition that a lot of thinking and doing water and governing water is infused with the logic of control. So much that goes on in water and in water science is focusing on better measuring water, better accounting for it, better regulating it, with the idea that every drop of water needs to be accounted for and, uh, yes, controlled. My hypothesis or idea is that there would be merit in complementing this logic of control with a logic of care. And the reason for formulating this hypothesis is, first of all, that a lot of water is always will escape control. Water is capricious. It flows, seeps, evaporates. So full control is never achievable, but also Water governance and water management brings together so many actors and so many different objectives and so many different interests that water management and governance is intrinsically complex. That means actual doing water governance requires often minute adaptations, improvisations, experimentations that also are difficult to grasp or predict or indeed control. Someone in Montpellier sent me the, the call for applications and then I, I got this imaginary of 10 months of free space to think, to reflect, to read. It was like a very attractive. And so I'm very happy to be here and to indeed have more time to explore things that are a bit, little bit outside the day-to-day -day work and hopefully get inspiration for new ideas and for new collaborations also. Something that is special about myself, maybe, is that I have lived in so many places during my life. During my studies, I was living for a while in Cameroon and then in Nicaragua, and then I got a job in Sri Lanka. I was working in Nepal, in Niger, and in Mexico. By having interacted with so many people and having lived in so many places, I've really come to enjoy difference and diversity, and I appreciate getting to know many different ways of being, of engaging, of relating, and of knowing. <laughs>